good morning all so today we are going to discuss the attachment of the cranial nerves in the cranial cavity so starting from front first here is the olfactory nerves now olfactory nerves you can't see over here there are 15 to 20 olfactory nerves which are arising from the roof of the nasal mucosa coming out through the cribriform plate so this position will be the area of the olfactory nerves second cranial nerve that is the optic nerve optic nerve we can easily identify so this is the optic nerve of left side and this is the optic nerve of the right side so they are coming through the optic canal and at that region they are going to cross each other and forming the optic chiasma so this is optic nerve and this is that sided optic nerve in between these two this organ we can see this is nothing but our pituitary gland resting in the cella tarsica now if we go a little bit posterior we can see here internal carotid artery so this is the these two are the remnants of the or these two are the cart ends of the internal carotid artery just behind internal carotid artery this thick nerve on both sides this is the oculomotor nerve this is the oculomotor nerve now behind oculomotor nerve thus this slender nerve this is the trochlear nerve just behind that we can see here a bunch of nerve fiber so this is the fifth cranial nerve or the trigeminal nerve just a little bit behind that beneath the petrosphenoid ligament this slender nerve is the abducens nerve so this is the abducens nerve and this is the abducens nerve if we go further backward direction this is the area of the internal acoustic meatus and here you can see a uh, nerve fiber these fibers belong to seventh and eighth cranial nerve that is the facial and vestibulo cochlear nerve just behind this this area this is the domain of the jugular foramen so here we can see the nerve roots these are these belong to 9 10th and 11th cranial nerve and here we can see one nice feature that is this thing this is actually the spinal root of the cranial accessory it is coming through the foramen magnum and it is going to join with the cranial root so this is the spinal root of the uh, accessory nerve now a little bit below that we are getting here we are getting the 12th cranial nerve or hypoglossal nerve and if we go further downward this is the cart end of the upper part of the spinal cord so and also here we can see two other features this is the dura mater this is the falc cerebri and this dural fold this is the tentorium cerebelli so this dural fold is the tentorium cerebelli thank you